can't see. Okay. Let me switch over here. Okay, I think I can see it from here. Let's try that. Now this shit right here keeps on throwing steam. So I can't do that. Let's try to find another way. And do. Really having a hard time finding how to do this one. What's going on, well, Life family? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I got a really interesting video for y'all. First of all, let me tell you what I got going on. This piece right here is one of the last pieces, full pieces that we got left. And we have two more tie-ins. One of the tie-ins that we are doing, they saying this really, really tie weld. And they're asking me if I could do it. They told me they got two pipes on the side of each other. The welds a few inches off the uh, ground. So everybody keep asking me if I'm, if I'm gonna be able to do it. Honestly, I don't know. And you know, I'm always up to a challenge. So today I got this four inch on welding right now. I, just, uh, I did these two earlier today. These came out really, really good. Uh, these two welds right here. We're using 70 and six and we capping with a one eighth. I'm capping on 60 on my remote. The cap came out really good. I'm really happy how it came out. Oh, you gotta be careful with the square on these because since the welds are so tight, they will always keep moving, so you gotta keep playing with it. I will have a separate video coming out soon on how to keep the pipe squared and how to be fast, so uh, be on the lookout for that. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cap this off, and I'm gonna be vlogging the next couple of days showing y'all what I got going on in the job. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off, and I'm gonna show you the cap when I'm done. I told my feel to take a break wow. When Swiss cheese on the Belva yeah. Tryna stun hard for the plumb bob I got eyeball and no level I can remix it, I can keep whipping There's a beat in it, no question yeah. If you want the best and I bless you yeah. Drop an eighth of less is your preference You pre Madonnas, be careful. be careful Watch what you say, I'm gon' test you yeah. Turn it high to hand, you ain't got a dance Just be honest, man, there's no What's up, fellas? As you can see, I'm on the scaffold right now I'm doing one of the last tie-ins. I think it's this one. One more at the end, which will be a flinch. And that hard weld. I'm really, really looking forward to that hard weld. I really want to challenge myself. Usually when I do these, these TIG outs, whenever, after I finish my route, I just hit it with the wire weld, especially with 70 or 6. It don't have a lot of silicone, so a wire weld would do it. But I don't have one, so I decided just to hit it with the, the grinding wheel. You really don't need to do it. Sometimes I don't, but sometimes I get that gut feeling, and I'm gonna just go ahead and take the time to grind it. If you're doing 70s2 now, man, just go ahead and grind it, bro. Just go ahead and grind it. If you're just starting out, because I've seen a lot of people sell x rays till so that 70s2 lives a lot of silicone, and that could get trapped in your weld. So my tip to y'all is just uh, grind it, at least hit it with the wire at the bare minimum. Some people say it'll burn off, but I've seen people fail, especially when you have it inside the walls. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my high pass, and I'm gonna show you along the way on how I do things. I'm a big dog on the time sheet. I'm a big dog, don't remind me. That schedule 10, that's a dime piece. P91, that's a nine piece. I wrap it up and let it bake first. Know you love the smell when that tape burn. If you're trying to ball, you gotta play first. It's my time to go and don't take a turn. Just got to work, I'm looking for a cooker. The price went higher. Whenever I do these takeouts, there's a little technique that I use. I usually get my fitters to fit my pipe out of square. Uh, I'm not sure y'all can see this, but as of right now, it is out of square. The pipe needs to rise up a little bit. It needs to do this. So uh, by the time I finish welding, the heat should be able to the sheet the heat should make it bend back to what it's supposed to be. That's a little technique that I use. It helps me a lot to become faster, especially when I'm welding. So as of now, it's somewhat like this, like this. So it needs to come in. For those of y'all who didn't understand me. And usually I do half, run the half bottom, jump to the other side, do the other half, come back over here, finish it off, and that's what I do to uh, finish it out. Alright 
fellas, we just finished, man. This shit came out beautiful once again. Haters, talk your shit. Everything looks good all the way from the bottom all the way to the top. The square is good, the sides are good. So, as of now, I'm not sure we got left. I think we got with some guys, but I think that'll be it for today. I'm actually trying to go home a little early. I need to stop at that water supply and give me a few things for tomorrow because I think tomorrow is whenever we do that hard weld. I'm going to show you everything that I do, how I do the weld from the root all the way to the foot. So, stay tuned for that. What's going on fellas, it's actually the next day, but as you can see, I'm suited up, got my safety harness on. I'm about to get on the scaffold, go check out that weld that everybody keep on asking me if I could do it. Everybody keeps on saying it's gonna be a tough weld. My fitter just told me they actually got water sprinkling from the other pipe on side of it, and it's hot water. So hopefully, uh, hopefully they don't hit me. I, I told them to try to find a way to get the water away from the weld, but uh, I'm, I'm excited, I'm, re I'm ready for a challenge. I wanna see how good my welding skills are. Hopefully I can do it so I can show y'all guys how I get down, how I position myself and what settings I use. So I'm about to uh, go on my scaffold, but I'll see y'all up there. All right, fellas, I just got to the weld, man. Not too, too bad. Uh, it looks, it don't look bad on camera, but if you look, I got this on top of my head. This ain't too far off. I got another one right here and the scaffold's right over there. It's not as bad as I thought, but it's gonna take some skill. Cause I got a lot, I have a lot in the way. I was more worried, but it's not too bad. I, uh, I don't know why these guys made me feel like it was like almost impossible. I think I'll be able to do it. I might have to do it left-handed. I got a couple more things in the way. I'll be able to catch the bottom through here. After I finish that one right there, I'm gonna go to the tie-in right over there. Let me see if I can show you right there i'll have my other tie-in shouldn't be too bad i was more worried i'll probably do everything from this point of view right here but whenever i get started i'm gonna show you how i get down you dry wash it like a laundromat broke the cold in the honor system bled the line let the bottom lift the blue collar crooked lead collar crooked once i up the price it's gonna be hard to put me p22 that's a deuce and a quarter just grab the four show you how to cook it i whip the bitch and i crystallize it break off the flux when i'm improvising just got to work and looking for a cooker The price went highest, leg and wire Check before you book her Ain't got no problem with the riggers I just tell them hook her They banging shackles off the scaffold Watch your head and look her Pile it up Alright fellas, I just did half of this route And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, it's pretty difficult The reason why I see why it's difficult Is because it's kind of hard To uh, position yourself if, you, if you've seen from the video, I was cuddled up with the pipe have my leg on top of this trying to get comfortable leaning against the scaffold pull the issue is that this pipe right here is actually hot man is every time i lean on it i have to step off in a while because it starts burning my chest up it got steam running through there and i don't know if y'all can see it on the camera but on this little tube right here they got water dripping and it's like boiling hot and it's hitting my leg it's not too too bad but it's pretty uncomfortable so I did half that route already. Now I'm about to jump and do this side. This side should be a little bit easier simply because I get uh, use my left hand uh, to do the route. The, the gap is pretty tight. I got like a 332 gap. I'm gonna go ahead and rip it with a 1A disc, open my gap up, and I'll close it up. It's really important to know how to weld with both hands whenever you uh, learn how to do TIG because it's gonna help you out a lot on the field. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this side up whenever I start doing my hot pass and all that. I'm gonna see what technique I'm gonna use. I think it'll be a little bit easier, but at the end of the day, sometimes things look easy, but once you get into it, it's actually pretty hard. It's not as bad as I thought though, guys. It's not as bad. I, I had some difficult ones before. So I'm gonna show you how I do this though. Let's get it. I just ripped the pipe and do it. It's really important to carry a saw blade. I don't know what mine's at, but good, good thing my fitter had one on, on deck. Gotta take out all these little metal shavings on the inside because that can really make you feel extra if you're not careful. Because whenever you do the root, sometimes the little metal shavings will stick to your actual root and stick out, and that's it could possibly show up on the uh, on the X-ray at times. Also, I suggest y'all get one of these little flashlights. I'm gonna have the I'm gonna have the link in the description box below. Come in handy and they just fit in your pocket. These work good for small pipe, when you, but when you, if you do like big bore pipe, you need a bigger one. Uh, way bigger one so you can see all the way down but these these work really good for small pipe so i went ahead and checked my root everything looks good now it's time to wrap it up i'm not really worried about how my main concern for today is just hurry up and do this pipe because it's almost time for us to go so i'm not really focused on making it look good i just want it to be good enough for the qc to buy it and good enough for the x-ray to shoot 
So about the, after this, I'm gonna do my hot pads. I'm gonna use 532 to fill, flush it out and cap, and I should be good to go. I'm gonna switch over to my left hand. And I'm gonna start doing this glue. It's been a while since I used my left hand. Let's see if I still got it. Can't see. Okay. Let me switch over here. Okay, I think I can see it from here. Let's try that. Now this shit right here keeps on throwing steam. So I can't do that. Try to find another way. And do. Can't do that. Fuck. I'm really having a hard time finding how to do this one. Let me see. Let's try doing it from the bottom. Oh, that one. Yup. Go. Take off. Need advice, I can help you. Yeah. Big weave, I'm a stealth. Yeah. Told my fear to take a break. Wow. Went Swiss cheese on the bevel. Dang. Trying to stun hard for the plum bob. I got eyeball and no level. I can remix it, I can keep whipping. There's a beat in it. My gap was getting closed up at the bottom. All this was kind of tight. So I did the keyhole dip method, kind of like when you do stainless. A big keyhole with your TIG rig like this, you can get a little crater and just dip the rod, walk up, make make the keyhole, dip it again, just like stainless. About to close up, should be good to go. I'm gonna run hot it, let's go. I can remix it, I can keep whipping, there's a bead in it, no question. Yeah. If you want the best and I'll bless you. Yeah. Drop an eighth the less is your preference. Yeah. You prima donnas, be careful. be careful. Watch what you say, I'm gonna test you. Yeah. Turn it high to hand, you ain't got a dance. Just be honest, man, there's no pressure. No pressure. Show you how to bam, get you out of jam. You don't give a damn, God bless you. I'm a big dog on the time sheet. I'm a big dog, don't remind me. That's schedule 10, that's a dime piece. P91, that's a nine piece. I wrap it up and let it bake first. Know you love the smell when that tape burn. If you're trying to Ball, you got play first. It's my time to go and don't take a turn. Just got to work. I'm looking for a cooker. The price went highest, leg and wire. Check before you book her. Ain't got no problem with the riggers. I just tell them hook her. They banging shackles off the scaffold. Watch your head and look up. Uh, pile it up. Keep cooking. Not enough. Man, y'all check this out. This is one of the things I hate about TIG welding. I just broke my cup. I arced off right there. And I think I am out of cups. And I'm almost done. And we got like 20 minutes before we can leave. I just got a cap on one side. I'm trying to hurry up and finish it. But, dude, this is one thing I hate about TIG welding. Now, take this out my hose, just bust it on my TIG rig. I don't know if y'all ever seen one of these, but it's the only TIG cup that I had in my truck, dude. We use this for heavy wall. Whenever you got heavy wall or J bevel, they're like this thick. So you need one that can reach. Look how big this is, dude. This is my drill. This is about the same size of my drill. And this is the only one I had, man. I had a hard time doing it. I had a freehanded. I'm gonna show you the cap. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm not really happy how it came out, but it's good enough for the uh, QC to buy. I just gotta shape it up with the foul. There ain't nothing the foul came fixed. I'm gonna just hit hit it with the line, make it look straight, and we good to go. But I'm about to knock off. I'm about to roll up all my shit. It's time for us to go. But man, at the end of the day, I got the job done. At the end of the day, it's gonna shoot X-ray haters. You know, I'm gonna let y'all get this one. Go ahead, talk shit. But this is my cap. Came out okay. Like I said, I'm just hit it with the foul, clean it up a little bit, and. It's gonna be good to go. I think it'll shoot X-ray, but I'm happy I finished. But you know, it is what it is. Sometimes when the field you come into problems, you gotta do the. Sometimes that's just how it is on the field, fellas. My GoPro just died, man. Everything's going wrong, so I have to use my phone. Maybe my audio is not that good. But I did it. You know what I'm saying, uh, so I'm about to uh, hurry up and roll my legs up. But I'm uh, pretty mad, but I ain't gonna be mad because I'm off for the weekend, so I'm gonna turn up, maybe have a little drink tonight, cause take my wife out there or something. But fuck it. It is what it is. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.